We didn't have anything severe here, but now down in Wayne County in Pennsylvania, they are seeing a severe thunderstorm warning. And as you can see, the house behind me had the roof completely sheared off the top of it, but surrounding neighbors, nearly no damage happened to those homes. Welcome back. Joining me now is Matt from the Shimon County SPCA. Who's our furry friend here today? Actually, yeah, so this <laughs> is Cash. And what better way after celebrating Go Skate Day to cool off and celebrate Peaches and Cream Day by visiting Peaches and Cream right here in Painted Post. Live HD radar showing clear conditions through the southern tier. Still dealing with some rain now south of Wellsboro and even south of Tawanda right now. That will continue to push to the south. Showers and thunderstorms likely through tomorrow afternoon. Breezy, warm, and humid as well. Those showers will be lingering through the overnight after a high of around 77. Rob, I feel like you could do something like that. The flip, right? <laughs> Not so sure about that. Oh, <laughs> I'm going to stick to the weather. And along with learning about typical farm animals like cows, chickens, and even some goats, the students also got to see some newborn kittens. We start to try to dry out on Thursday, so keep our fingers crossed that by Thursday we won't see any showers. But we'll be back near average. Okay. <laughs> A couple of hours with this oppressive heat, and yes. then maybe, maybe get some rain coming yeah. through. And then okay. once that rain comes through, it'll cool us off. Now, meteorologist Rob Lindenmuth with your 18 Storm Team forecast. Welcome back. Warm and humid for today with a few peaks of sunshine, which helped lead to those thunderstorms this afternoon. Now on our Elmira Skycam, mostly cloudy now. A few showers still lingering through downtown Elmira, but for the remainder of the overnight and the rest of the next few hours, those rain showers will be continuing, but continue to push off to our south and east. Now, though, in downtown Elmira, temperatures at 70 degrees, that wind speed out of the west, southwest at 6 miles per hour, those, that humidity value at 93%, feeling rather humid out there for this time of year. Live HD radar, those showers and thunderstorms from earlier pushing off to our south and east. We didn't have anything severe here, but now down in Wayne County in Pennsylvania, they are seeing a severe thunderstorm warning that is now in effect until 630 this evening. The total rainfall over the last 24 hours, anywhere from a tenth of an inch to just under a half an inch, nearly a half an inch in Tawanda, just under a quarter of an inch here in downtown Elmira, just over a quarter of an inch out in Serre. Once that system moves off to our south and east, we are high and dry, high pressure building in for the day tomorrow, starting off with mostly cloudy skies, increasing sunshine though as we head through the afternoon and evening hours. That sunshine sticks with us through most of the day on Tuesday, maybe a little bit of an increase in cloud cover for Tuesday afternoon and evening. This is going to be out ahead of our next system that we can see maybe a few rain showers late Tuesday night into early Wednesday morning. But as this cold front pushes through on Wednesday afternoon and evening, I wouldn't be surprised if we see a few thunderstorms roll through the region, a few of which could be strong to severe. So just keep an eye on that as we progress through the next few days. Temperatures right now have cooled off from our highs earlier near 80, 71 now in Sarah, 72 in Tawanda, down to 65 in Cohocton. Dew points, though, still up there. Low 60s to even upper 60s, 66 in Sayre, 67 in Elmira, making it feel very muggy, kind of a little uncomfortable out there this afternoon and evening. Those will be dropping as those temperatures drop as well on the backside of that cold front by tomorrow morning. Actual air temperatures in the mid to upper 50s. We're going to be warming up to a cool but comfy afternoon. Temperatures in the low to mid 70s with plenty of sunshine. And by tomorrow night, we're going down for a cold low 40s to start your Tuesday morning. But again, for tonight, scattered showers, maybe a few rumbles of thunder still. Drying out though, the later we go into the overnight, temperatures at 56 degrees. Northerly wind between 0 and 10 miles per hour for your Monday increasing sunshine through the afternoon breezy but comfy temperatures topping out in the mid 70s clear and cool for overnight below average temperatures as well high pressure sticks with us for Tuesday more sunshine high temperature of around 80 we're slowly warming up Wednesday and into Thursday with temperatures in the low to mid 80s increasing amounts of humidity a few scattered showers and some thunderstorms especially Wednesday into Thursday morning and then we have the threat for a few isolated thunderstorms Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. But we are turning downright tropical temperatures in the mid to even upper 90s by next weekend. It's going to be hot.